and it is it is an honor. It's an honor for me to be in this room. As the sign says, this is Vets for Freedom National Heroes Tour. And we're in the room with real heroes. And so we should, all of us, be honored to be in their presence. I'm always honored and humbled to be in the presence of Mary Lee from the very first time I saw her in my office in Washington, D.C. Her, her tireless work, her attitude, her courage, her commitment, all of those things are inspiring, I think, to all of us who have gotten to know her. So we're in a room uh, full of heroes and full of those that we should be honoring. Uh, I thought that it was there was a laugh or a hoorah in the back of the room when it was pointed out that my son is in the Army, the 101st uh, Airborne. He's a helicopter pilot. He did serve a year in Iraq, and he is now serving in Afghanistan. And, of course, I'm extremely proud of him, as I am proud of all the men and women who serve. But as I was mentioning earlier, it does point out to me what is apparently a serious shortcoming in my leadership skills, and that my <laughs> wife, sitting over here, Vicki, is a retired Army nurse. My son is an Army lieutenant colonel. I have three nieces in the United States Army, one serving <laughs> Baghdad today. There's a, there's a thread here, there's a trend that you, you may have picked up on. I, I picked up on it, I pointed out to me. But in their cases as well, I'm, I'm proud to know them. I'm proud that they're in my family. I'm proud of their service. All of us in this room tonight, I think, are here because we love our country. We understand that we wouldn't be the country that we are today. We wouldn't have the freedoms that we have today. We wouldn't have the security we have today without the service and sacrifice, sacrifices of the men and women in uniform. And foremost among them, those here on the dais, some of you in this room who are true war heroes. It turns out that a number of you are authors as well. Uh, I have read Mike's book, A Just Fire. It's a great book. I read David's book, House to House. Now I've got to read Tom's book. Uh, I commend them all to you because they are telling of service and sacrifice that is important to all, to all of us. I'm going to slip out of here. That's the nature of this business, and, I, and I'm already thinking of how I'm going to chew out my entire staff for arranging this so that I had to leave before it's over because the treat for you is certainly not to listen to me. It's to listen to them and to appreciate the real heroes, the people who earned those Purple Hearts, earned those medals, who really have fought and sacrificed and kept us free. So I want to thank my good friend Pete Hexeth. I knew him when. He was about, you know, this big. And Mike and to all the people up here for this program, for the work they're doing, for this tour. I hope it goes far and wide successful in reminding the American people about service and sacrifice and what true heroes really are. So thanks to you for coming. Thanks to you for coming. God bless you all.